up everybody? My name is David Franco from twitch.tv slash David Franco. That link can always be found right below. Every single follow is appreciated. Thank you so much. Anyway, welcome to my gaming room tour for, I'm calling it fall. I mean, it's kind of closer to winter, but we're just, we're just going to stick with fall because winter's still a good month away. So this is my gaming room tour for fall of 2019. I hope you guys enjoy it. All right, so let's start this video properly. Let's walk into the gaming room as if I'm getting ready to stream. Here we go. And this is what I see. Needless to say, I'm very proud of it. But the thing is, it's not done. It's actually never done. Okay, starting out the tour, let's officially begin in this corner. I'm gonna try to keep this kind of short, but you guys knew me. I love to talk. All right, Amiibo collection. I'm a huge, huge fan of Animal Crossing, so I figured the Animal Crossing Amiibo deserve their own section way up top. There's Link back there, Donkey Kong plush, which occasionally falls. And speaking of falls, I have this mushroom from Mario Brothers that tends to fall, but I put a little adhesive thing right there, and you know what? That little thing actually, okay, now that fell, it usually holds it up, and there it goes, okay, yep. Rest in peace, everybody. Rest in peace. Who do we got here? Luigi and KK Slider. <laughs> That's okay. That's why we make changes. Of course, if I wasn't recording this video, I wouldn't have touched that. But trust me, it usually stays. And back there is an ugly thermostat, which is no longer active. Hence why the mushroom is there to begin with. Anyway, back to the Amiibo. I'm a big Amiibo collector. They're not as huge as they once were. But I definitely have over 100 Amiibo total, ranging from the classics like 8-Bit Mario, 8-Bit Link, all the way up to Cloud, Final Fantasy VII, uh, Princess Zelda, Mario, uh, Silver Mario, Gold Mario, Animal Crossing again. I'm a huge, huge fan of Animal Crossing, as you can tell. I'm just a huge fan of Nintendo in general. Who isn't? So down here, I pointed out this KK slider. I know somebody's going to ask. I actually got this from Geek Fest in South Jersey. It's a convention they have twice a year. Twice a year. Now, unfortunately, I haven't been there in probably a few years since I moved to Pennsylvania. But I definitely want to get out there again at some point in the, in the uh, future because they have a lot of cool stuff like that. And yeah, granted, you can probably find this online. But buying it in person is just a nice way of, you know, supporting artists. And now, uh, speaking of artists, I consider this art. My sister and I built this years ago. This is my Kinex Ferris wheel. Yes, it does work. I just got to find the motor. Uh, that's why it's kind of... There we go. It's smooth now. But yeah, once, once the motor is up and running... Actually, the motor is right there. I just, just got to find the power adapter. This just continuously spins, which is pretty cool. I am very, very proud of that. So over here, this is what I call my loot corner. Every geek and gamer, in my opinion, needs a mini fridge. And that's exactly what I have down here. I don't know if it's well stocked. Got some apples, because I love apples. I've uh, got some beers. Hey, you, you, get, you gotta have beers, right? And I even have some Capri Suns back there. You really, really can't see them. And in there, some hard liquor. I think Fireball. Actually, it's not Fireball. What is this? It's kind of a tiny freezer, but it's big enough. Oh, vodka. And I think whiskey. My Apple Watch just searched for vodka. Interesting. Um, oh, tequila. That's right, tequila. I guess I'll leave this out now. Okay. The joys of making a video in real time. I don't care. It's all good. So, there you go. And no, I'm not a heavy drinker. That's just there for the hangouts that I have with uh, my patrons on Patreon. Shout out to my friend Douglas. He was nice enough to get me this microwave, which is powered by Alexa. Check this out. Excuse me, Alexa. Microwave for 15 seconds. Okay, so you might be wondering, why? My response is, why not? Ladies mug, I don't ever really use this. Uh, th this was actually sent to me from a viewer. No, I'm not that full of myself. I did not make this myself. This, this was indeed a gift from a viewer. <laughs> it looks even creepier in blue lights. I'm a major, major coffee addict, so that's where this belongs, a little coffee sign. Speaking of coffee, Yes, I have a dedicated Keurig just for in my gaming room, which I love. Shout out to my friend Heidi. She um, actually actually hooked me up with a lot of this, the K-Cups. 
and the uh, organizer, and I think maybe Letizia helped with this too. I just I just know I've had a lot of viewers help with my uh, success, and I really, really appreciate it, guys. Anyway, I got this fully stocked with K-Cups. I don't really use K-Cups because they're terrible for the environment. This is more of a decoration, um, and we have more over here. But I do use them on occasion. Like, if I'm desperate and I really, really want coffee and I don't have any downstairs, then I'll use one of these K-Cups. Why not? I mean, guys, look at that supply. It's insane. A Link Amiibo, which I got weeks ago. I just keep meaning to open it. Got sugar there, got some spoons, a little light, which is powered by Hue. Uh, there's Mario being lit up. And there is a custom sign that I got from my viewer, Patrick. Patrick, thank you so much. Yes, that says David DeFranco. It's pretty sweet. I love it. And down here, we got lots of snacks, some G Fuel down there, G Fuel shakers. This is an extra piece of furniture. I don't know what I'm doing with this. It's crap, though. Look at it. Not very sturdy. Not very sturdy at all. But uh, yeah, it's gonna go somewhere. Okay, so coming from over there and over to here, let's get this section done. It's not the most exciting section, but I'm proud of it because it's kind of new. This table I bought in recent weeks, I love it. This is just an infographic for a uh, video I recently did. That doesn't really apply to my gaming room. And actually, there's, there's the box. That's okay, I'll worry about that later. There's the fireball, that's right, I drank it all. So now the uh, bottle's on display. Shout out to my friend Dan. This was my host, yeah, host. This was my housewarming gift from him a while ago because I've been in this house for just over a year now, which is great. I'm a big fan of sheets. I'm a huge fan of sheets. Hence this very awesome sheets blanket. I just have it hung by thumbtacks, which seem to work pretty well. I love you sheets. And these two things are just two of many many sheets items that I have throughout my house and in storage and all that stuff. Philips Hue uh, Smart Hub, which controls all my lights because all of these lights are actually tied together. Check this out, I can change them on my stream deck. Make them blue, green, red, and I can power them off. And of course, on again. But now I want to go back into the Hue app and put them to where I want them to be. Let's do Spring Blossom. Doesn't look too bad, right? It's a nice pink hue. Actually, that's putting off some weird lines. But let me put it back to where it was before. I think we were there. Yeah, Arctic. That's not bad. Not bad. Okay, going back to the network section. David, focus. Got my Linksys router. This is a Linksys uh, WRT32X. No relation to the Genesis add-on. That was a lame attempt at a joke. And a Netgear modem. I've actually had Comcast in here in the past, what, few months to get that cable connection live again because all of this used to be in my living room downstairs and I had a huge Ethernet cable running up here and it just looked terrible. So now I have this and I have the Ethernet cable running around. Eventually I'll make them more elegant but for now this is much much better than what I had before. Um, anyway, this table I love. If you guys want that table, let me know and I'll link you right below on Amazon. One of my many Hue lights, I bought this on Amazon. This is some kind of um, cheap Japanese style lights. And excuse the lines, I'm sorry. Obviously you don't see that in person. And I have Hue bulbs in there, as you can see. Two of them, which I love. Extra storage, I don't know where that's gonna go. There's my shit stack, my audio DAC and all that stuff. I don't really need it anymore because now my Go XLR mixer does pretty much everything that used to do and much, much more. There's Drunk Mario. Uh, this is a gift from my friend April and uh, patron April. Thank you very much, April. Uh, she is a very, very talented artist when it comes to those handmade items. Closet time. Okay. That's all you get to see, because this is a work in progress. Hence all these cables sitting on the floor. Look at this mess. We've got cables, HDMI cables, USB cables, extension cables, an extra mouse, wireless mouse, focus right, Scarlet Solo, second generation. Blah, 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 blah. Eventually that will go in storage. Okay. First of all, please, for the love of God, ignore those cables. That is temporary, I promise. I promise that's gonna look much neater. Because over here, I have much, much better cable management. But even with that said, I still have some things to do. Because this setup is only a couple weeks old. 
Hence why I put a TV in here. Because why not? What was that sound? Sometimes I think my house is haunted, which would be pretty cool. Okay, this is my streaming PC. I still have to get that gook off, but it is what it is. This streaming PC pretty much does what it sounds like. It's my streaming PC. It dedicates itself to streaming and nothing else. Maybe recording here and there. As you can see over here, this is my gaming PC. So if I go to my gaming PC, check it out. This is my gaming PC. And you see it reacting on my streaming PC. And you can see my audio bumping up and down as I speak because my microphone's right here. This is the Audio Technica AT2035. Great microphone. I'm not attached to it though, so I'm not, you know, against the idea of trying something better, which I probably will in early 2020. Anyway, if you guys want to see all the specs of the streaming PC, I'm not going to go into detail right now, uh, but you can find them all right below via one convenient link. And down here, this is a brand new Turtle Beach headset, as well as a Turtle Beach headset holder, sponsored by Turtle Beach. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate it. This is the Turtle Beach Atlas Elite Aero wireless headset. We've got mic monitoring, which you can actually adjust using these knobs on the left, and of course the volume as well. We have a whole ton of other features, including the ability to easily charge it via USB. And of course, it is wireless. I mean, wireless is freedom. How many times do you get up while gaming and you're annoyed by having to put your headset down, your wired headset at that? Trust me, I've been there many times, but now I can just put this on and I can just walk away. See ya. Okay, I promise I'm not always that rude, but come on guys, $150 headset with a ton of features. Check it out right below. And hey, the holidays are right around the corner, so that might be a great gift idea. Turtle Beach, thank you so much for the headset. I appreciate it. All right, so getting back to the streaming PC, you might notice I'm using the same exact table that I am over there. I actually bought this one first and it clicked. I'm like, wait a minute. Why don't I just buy a second one to use with the streaming PC? Because at first I was gonna do this. The depth was just enough, but I wanted enough room in the front and back where if I wanna put any accessories there, such as the Turtle Beach headset, I can. And plus, now I have the convenience of these shelves because these consoles were once over here, which will eventually, I don't know, I'll have something there eventually, m maybe some kind of lights. But yeah, so now my Xbox One X, PlayStation 4 Pro, and Nintendo Switch are all over here, which is quite convenient because my streaming PC actually has two capture cards in there, a uh, 4K 60 Pro and a 60 Pro. That means one of them is dedicated to consoles only, and the other is dedicated to streaming my gaming PC because that capture card has pass-through, uh, meaning I can game in 144 hertz and still output natively in 60 hertz. In other words, 60 frames per second. So this is my gaming PC. Right now the lights are not final because I'm actually gonna change these lights pretty soon for, for the holidays, make them red and green and, you know, festive basically. Uh, but yeah, if you guys wanna see my gaming PC specs, those are right below just like my streaming PC. And right next to the gaming PC is my stream deck, which is actually hooked up to my streaming PC. These are my scenes, check it out. I can switch them just by pressing buttons on the stream deck itself. And again, I can change the lights, turn them off, turn them on, which is pretty cool. And yeah, you might notice a lot of blank spots. It's because, well, again, the streaming PC is a brand new setup. So I'm still in the process of finalizing this. And speaking of all that, I need to point out my mixer real quick. This is the Go XLR, guys. I'm going to link it right below. Check out his boot up process. Here we go. Is that not awesome? You can easily mute. All of this is controlled by software. You'll actually see the sliders moving in the software as I do this. And yes, these are motorized faders. How cool is that? I have labels for here. Uh, microphone, Spotify, consoles, and system. Guys, I cannot tell you enough. The Go XLR is by far the best thing you can add to your streaming PC setup, besides the streaming PC itself. That's, that's, that's pretty obvious. But guys, seriously, the Go XLR, it's not the easiest thing to find at $400 because a lot of these sites mark them up to like $500, $600, which is crazy. But be patient, turn on those alerts, check out bestbuy.com, Amazon, all those sites. You will find it for $400 eventually. And guys, I'm telling you, 
It's a godsend. It's quite literally replaced several components of my setup and jammed them all into one product, which has not only cleaned up my setup, but I've also freed up, I think, what, two or three USB ports, which is great. Trust me, guys, it is not every day that I rave about audio equipment, but this thing is a godsend. From the motorized faders to the six presets of effects with pitch and gender and echo and reverb and hard tuner, robot and megaphone and FX and uh, even a bleep button and a cough button, I call it, and sampling. You just play that and it plays audio. Listen, ready? Hold on, I'll play a long one. You hear that? And ignore how dirty my headphones look. I wear those things pretty much every day. But hey guys, I love the Go XLR. It's incredible. Okay, so getting to my monitors, you might notice I have an obsession with displays. I love displays. Always have, always will. So at first, it was just these three displays going landscape. These are Dell 144Hz displays. All three of them. Absolutely love them. But eventually, I was like, wait a minute. What if I make the ones on the left and right vertical? Now, I will say they're TN panels, so they're not really meant to go vertical. So as you can see, the viewing angle sucks. But once they're sitting down, they look fine. They honestly look fine. And that's really all you need to worry about. And then I got thinking, wait a minute. Why not add a 55-inch Samsung 4K HDR smart TV? Hence why I'm having Netflix. Uh, on right now to my setup. I mean, why not? So this thing is actually hooked up to my streaming PC at first It was the primary display, but then I was like wait a minute. I need something simpler I need something that's more at eye level. So I got this cheap $130 Dell display 1080p IPS and I literally just use this for um, OBS as, as you can say although in my case it's Streamlabs OBS because for some reason OBS crashes with my GPU and I don't know why, but Streamlabs OBS works fine. And the drivers are up to date. They are. So I, th I think it's an OBS issue. Anyway, guys, I love displays. So I have four displays from Dell and one from Samsung. I love it. So basically, what is it? These two are on my gaming PC. And these three are on my streaming PC. But David, you might be wondering, why do you have a TV on your streaming PC? I'm just going to come right back at you and say this again. Why not? You never know when you want to play something full screen like a Twitch stream while you're doing stuff in here or, or YouTube videos or whatever. I love having the convenience of using my PC or just Netflix itself on the same TV. The convenience is huge. And plus, honestly, it's really, really nice being able to play movies in the background. I love it. And it's not normally that, that reflective from my angle. See? Look at that. It's just fine. Okay. Let's pause that. Actually, let's just go back to Netflix. Actually, hold on. Let's go to my PC. So now this, what you're seeing right now, is my streaming PC. I can drag that window over there and then over to there. It's huge. I cannot express enough why you need at least, at least three displays as a streamer. It's that convenient, especially when you go vertical like I am right here. Guys, I'm telling you, chat full screen is insane. Now, of course, right now, it doesn't look like much because I'm not live, but believe me, this, this window fills up within minutes, and then it's really, really easy to reference older messages just in case you miss something. It's kind of weird seeing myself in the background. Who's that guy? Okay, continuing the setup, I have this auto full gaming chair, which was sponsored. Got this thing a while ago. I love it, honestly. It is the best gaming chair I've used yet. Doesn't really have anything fancy except for comfort. And I did get this lumbar support separately on Amazon. I think like 15, 20 bucks. Easily worth it. Maybe even 25, I'm not sure. But I'm telling you guys, comfort is everything. So if you don't have one of these things and you have back pains, think about buying it. Seriously, think about buying it. Okay, um, did I miss anything? Okay, so I do have two keyboards, two mice. I'm sure someone's going to say, well, David, you should get a KVM switch. No, thank you. I think I'm good there. I don't, I don't want a KVM switch. I like having dedicated peripherals per PC. You know, keyboard PC, mouse PC, keyboard PC, mouse PC. It's just nice. 
And what else? Back there are some Logitech speakers, which are actually used kind of frequently. Like if I'm not streaming, for instance, on Sundays and I want to play some games by myself or just watch a video while building furniture or whatever in here, then I usually turn those speakers on. Or nowadays, I would think I would just rather use my TV. Oh, also, you might notice those lights behind there. Yes, those LEDs go on and off automatically per the uh, TV's power state. So back there, adhesive LEDs, and I can change these to any color. I want. So let's just go with uh, like a purple, which looks pretty cool. Blue, yellow, green, red, orangish. Yeah, you know. Let's let's just leave it on that. That's that's actually nice purple, and it blends pretty well with. Oh, by the way, more hue lights back here. I have three light bars. One, two, three. There you go. And a fourth light bar back here. I love these Philips Hue light bars. Hue is not cheap. Trust me, I realize that. Hue in my eyes is kind of like lights of the Apple world. You're paying a small premium, but man, let me tell you the experience. It just works. It really does just work. And it's pretty cool because I have all of these Hue lights tied together. So yeah, I mean, I can have themes, my games can actually react with them. It's great. And of course, they work with Alexa and Siri, which is quite convenient. Okay, I cannot forget to mention this. This is not a regular desk. This is legit butcher block. This is technically a kitchen counter. I love it. I love it. I mean, I'm, I'm just going to say this right away. It definitely requires maintenance. This is not your typical surface. And uh, pretty soon, actually, with that said, I have to oil it again. I have some oil in my closet over there. But yeah, now and then, maybe like every few months, I'll just run a quick layer of oil. No, I don't take everything off. I just oil the parts I can see. Guys, I'm telling you, once you go with legit butcher block, it's really, really tough to go back to a regular, cheaply built desk. However, I still love IKEA for things like this. Got some storage for plenty of controllers games and whatever this is this is more my console side so there's not a lot of stuff over here and over here is my PC side with random accessories no those aren't condoms touchscreen wipes adhesive stickers thumbtacks all that stuff actually these are my Christmas LEDs which I can put out soon over here just building stuff that's actually empty, and down here is the big drawer with a lot of random accessories. Uh, accessories. I'm pretty hungry, I'm gonna order DoorDash soon. Astro A40s, Blue Yeti mic, blah blah blah. I have a lot of stuff, and this isn't even half of everything I have. Most of my stuff is in storage over there in my attic, next to my bedroom, and downstairs in my office closets. And a lot of stuff's over here. Uh, eventually I'm gonna put a lot of the stuff in my basement maybe? Because I have ideas for that. Okay, so there is my desk set up. I'm sure there's more. Oh, and my lo webcam, Logitech C922X. Eventually, that's going to be replaced with likely a Sony A5100, perhaps. And down there, trash can and subwoofer. And finally, going full circle, I have this light here, just in case I want to record videos on YouTube. Look at that. And it gives me plenty of light without really taking away the effect behind me. But for now, let's turn that off. A little blinding. Oh, I also have this over here. A little windowsill, which is great for decorating. As you can see, I don't really have much here right now. I have this skull glass, which is pretty cool. And this little poop emoji hat, which blocks the uh, line from the blinds. That way my cat, Maui, doesn't get himself into trouble. Hello, Mario. But yeah, I love this room. And for those who don't watch my vlogs, this room is one of the primary reasons I bought this house. As soon as I saw this house online, and as soon as I saw this room right here, look at this. I was like, this is it. This is what I have been looking for. It's the perfect layout for a gaming room. I love it so much. And guys, honestly, I don't think I'm done yet. I can see myself putting another monitor up here at some point, like, kind of at an angle, we'll see. Oh, and by the way, I didn't, I didn't really talk about this. This is a little riser I bought for my display, which honestly makes a huge difference. Okay, I think that's it. Main setup, networking corner, Amiibo, 
uh, loot corner, just a bunch of random stuff which I still have to put away. And I did go to TwitchCon 2018, CES 2015, and you know, these are like my conventions. Okay, so honestly, I don't get out that often, but when I do, it's fun. It's fun. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about anything you saw in my gaming room, let me know. But please keep in mind, I'm not done yet. Cable management is next on my list of things to do. Gotta get this stuff organized eventually. I wanna get some big ass closet organizer thing with shelves and compartments and doors and all that stuff. Gotta put this stuff away. Eventually I'm gonna do something better with this corner. I mean, th this is um, obviously staying here because my cable connection's there. But I want to do something better with this corner of the room. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Shout out to everyone who has supported me throughout the past 13 plus years. I'm saying that because if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be in this house right now. Honestly, I wouldn't. YouTube inspires me to try new things, to take chances in life, and just to move on. Get what I want in life. And there's no reason why you can't do the same. So put yourself out there. Put the work in. And well, you never know what the future holds. Thank you guys so much for watching. Your support means the world to me. It's time for me to eat dinner. I'm so hungry. I'll see you later. Peace.